Welcome to Cabmaster Software. Today I want to demonstrate uh, wardrobes. We have in our standard CM cabinets library which comes with the Cabmaster Premium and the designer range. Uh, we have a tall universal one and it comes out like this to begin with. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to doors, turn off, untick, select so you can see the door window disappear. I'm going to go to construction and say so I want to turn it back on and I want to turn the rails off so you can see the rails here disappear. So now that we've got a open box. So now what I want to do is go into here and just make some, some very simple changes. I'll take 1200 wide, 1200 high, uh, 500 deep. We'll take it zero off floor. Now if we want to do something slightly different, we can also slope the cabinet. So I can go into here and say, okay, I want the left side to be, say, 700. That's going to go back to 1200. Uh, so you can see how it's removing that side. If I reduce this one here to say 600, it angles that whole section of it. So you can see how it does that. You can, if you put the zero, it goes, just goes all the way across. So but you can do it step by step under stairs or something like that if you like. Uh, I can then throw in a few divisions. So I throw in a couple of divisions through here, and it slightly, see, it slightly uh, cuts into it. So it lets it overlap, so you can miter it on the saw. Um, I'm going to. So what I've done is I've created three put two divisions in here which has now created three empty sections so I've now got area one area two and area three so I'll go into area one and I can start putting another so I put another division into here so I split that again instead of being there I'll manually move it down to say 350 and then I can put something down there as well so I'm gonna put some drawers now at the moment all you're doing is throwing things at it so I throw some drawers into there go into area two I don't care how many drawers I'm just throwing things at it. We'll sort that out later on. Um, so as it, as you can see, as I'm adding anything in here, it creates a new pair. So area one, lower one drawers. That's where you can go and change that. So we get everything in there. Then we go and adjust what we want once it's in there. So um, I might as well put another one of those into there. And I'll just throw, throw some shelves down the bottom. I'll just leave the top sections open for now. And again, don't care how many shelves, just throw something at it. This one in here, I'm going to do something say two divisions and just to be slightly different I'm going to go into the middle section and put in a grid that'll sound alright so it's like a wine rack or a, or a, it'll make sense in a minute area one lower one drawers how many drawers do I want I just want one in there and you're gonna need one drawer in that little section so once you come to this all these pages here are now just for this one section right here so it's now you're minimizing um, step down so we start with the entire box then we go to each, each um, area, and then from each area you go into each section within each area. So I'm now going to area two, lower one, shelves, and I think two shelves there will be fine, and I can make them both fixed as well, and you see they change from green to black, so green, black. Um, I can recess them, I can angle them, um, and you can spin it all around, you can look at it in different angles as well. Um, and it's grid here, so let's go to area three, mid one, so it's in the middle. Um, I'm going to change this to be a quantity. I want two by two. That's fine. So I'm just going to have like a um, towel rack or something like that. So very quickly, um, I can do that. I can place that one down to there. I'll actually just throw a wall in very quickly. Throw a wall into there. Actually, I've got to go change my back. Construction, back. Um, pinned on. Go to 3D, so you can now see in 3D what that looks like, uh, and you can also go into back into that. Just double click, go back into it. Area one drawers. I can go into a front and say yes, I want to include a drawer front onto that section to there. Uh, it sits inside, or I can actually uh, outside, or I can actually make it sit inside, or you can go back to the other section and start adding doors for each section or doors over the whole lot and things like that as well. So very quickly, you can do some uh, some interesting wardrobes. Um, I just pull out the default one again so I can start again. So again go down to doors, sell doors, include, off. Um, I know it's like turning rails off. Depends on how you want to make them but I, I commonly go for solid backs. But you can leave rails, you can have mid rails, interim rails, so you can have five rails across the back. So it all depends on how you want to build this, this cabinet. Uh, so this time we'll make it say 1200, uh, yeah, 1200 wide, 1800 tall, um, so this time we'll actually build a proper wardrobe 
Um, so we're going to area one. Now we can go into this first setting here and say, yeah, I want to have multiple dividers and split this whole section up. So oh, let's just split that in half. Okay. So now we've got area one and area two, but when you go into area one, you can actually go into it again, add in more divisions and add in more divisions again and keep segmenting this. And then you can put in more and more pieces into each one of these sections as well. Um, so you can do something as an example of, um, say, a grid into there, uh, some shelves into that section, uh, and then you can go to area two, and then say I want to have in a double hanger, double hang. So we've got a hanger through there. We go into the grid, and so I just want to have that quantity. I want to have one. No, I want to have opposite one by four as an example so it's almost oh, essentially it's like shelves again let's do something different let's have two by four and in the shelves we go into our shelves and we only want to have two shelves and again I want to have on this time I'm going to put them as 15 degrees and 15 degrees and if you tick this box all is number one it copies them all anyway so um, but they're going to be fixed not adjustable if they're on a slope and it might be a little bit severe, I might put up now to say 12 degrees. And you can go and add a lip onto them and say, yes, I want to include a lip. And adds a lip into there. Um, it should off offset it further back up so it doesn't stick out the front. Make that only 30 mil. So there's a whole lot of little things you can do with this and offset them and move them all around. Um, and then you can go back to doors. Now we can doors are an interesting section because you can go into include doors and you can see I've got door on my end left and I have door on my end right. So now I've got two doors now an even pair, that would be what I want. So I've got two doors on that so I can have standard cabinet. The other thing you can do is you can go to cell doors. So that's just standard doors that hang off the divisions. Um, if you go into here when you go include it gives you the options that you have so I've got an upper one uh, area two so I can say I want a door on the right so it's going to add one door on here but then I can say I want one door on the left just on this bottom section the lower one so you can do these individually if you like as well so one two three doors on that cabinet um, it depends on how you want to do it so that's quite open of how you want to do these sorts of things um, and again you can go into 3D now you see there be uh, doors on that cabinet so it's a little bit strange, but you can turn, you can turn the doors off and on anywhere you like. If you want to have it left open, we can leave that side open. Uh, depending again, what what do you want to do with it? Just untick that box, go back into 3D, and that one section is now open. You can also go into that cabinet and change the material. So I can go to material and say I want to have um, oh change the panel material, change the carcass. Uh, I can go to the top and say I want that to be. Oh, I don't know. Let's look at something. 18 mil grained material for the for the top, uh, the left end. I'll do the same thing again. Go for a generic grain too, same as that one. Uh, and if you look really closely, that thickness just changed because it's now 18 mil. So you can see I've now got. I, I didn't change the edging, but I can as well. So you can see quite happily I've changed the material for those two very very simply. Uh, you go change the back. You can change any any piece you like, so and obviously change the edging as well. So I've left the edging on white. Um, so it's very simple to do things like that. Uh, and once you've once you've done that, you. So if we just well, bring this cabinet back in here, if I double click on this cabinet, I can go back down to materials. I can go choose a, a different edging. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what edging I've got set up in here. Uh, let's choose select. Oh, let's go edit. And I want to choose a timber grain. What? Queensland walnut. There we go. That's what I want. Queensland walnut. I'm going to this edging here. Oops, sorry. Hit OK. This edging here. Again, just go edit. You can manually override what's there. Queensland walnut. Okay, let's go have a look now. There we go. 
you can see both edges have now changed on that one and again you can change any other edges as well so it makes it easy to do that sort of thing then you can start adding in more uh, models and things next